All right, photosynthesis uh, phase two. So the first step of the actual lab simulation is to add distilled water to both test tubes. So we grab, we click on the distilled water bottle right here. Just click, grab it, and then pour water in both test tubes, okay? Then place the bottle back. Okay, the second step is to add drop of phenol red to both tubes. So this is phenol red. Again, we click on it and add it to both tubes, okay? All right, let's put it back. Now, let's read. Is Phenol red added to the test tubes. Why? I mean, why is phenol red added to the test tubes? Option, um, for, first option. Phenol red is a pH indicator. Yes, it is. Phenol red participates with the light reactions of photosynthesis. No, it does not. Because we remember only carbon dioxide, um, water, and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, energy from sunlight. That's what's needed for photosynthesis. Phenol red is not needed. It's only an indicator of base, basicity or acidity of the solution. Um, next option, phenol red detects the release of oxygen. No, not really. It reacts um, to the carbon dioxide dissolved in water that makes uh, the solution acidic. And the last option, phenol red provides carbon atoms for photosynthesis. No, it does not. Um, carbon dioxide provides carbon atoms for photosynthesis. So the first option is correct. Phenol red is a pH indicator. Okay, submit my our answer and it is correct. Yes, phenol red changes color with pH. So the next question, what is the initial color of the test tube? And we remember it was pinkish red, okay? Right here we see pink, pinkish red. Okay, correct. Phenol red is initially pinkish red. Continue. Acidic solutions will appear what color? Let's see. We think it is yellow. Yes, and it is correct. Phenol red turns yellow in an acidic environment. So when a lot of carbon dioxide is dissolved in water, the solution is yellow. And we'll continue. Okay. So the next step use straw to blow into both tubes to add carbon dioxide so click on the tube it is sitting right here next to forceps and we place the straw to the first test tube and click on it so yes you see, you see the little um arrows indicate um presence of um of um, air. So now let's breathe into the second tube. So both tubes turn yellow, meaning we when we breathe out, when we exhale, we exhale carbon dioxide. So both tubes have carbon dioxide now. Okay, so let's place the straw back on the um, bench. The next, uh, the next step is use tweezers to add one piece of Elodea to tube on left. So we get um, tweezers, click on the tweezers, then get one piece of um, this plant and we put it only in one tube on the left, right here. Okay, good, so please put the tweezers back. Now we need to add rubber stopper to each tube, why? So the outside air won't get in it and we can record we can detect the presence um decrease or increase of carbon dioxide so we get the rubber stopper right here one tube and the second tube all right now the next step turn on light right here the light switch is right here click on it and the time elapses then um, determine time for tubes to change color so let's look at the tubes and 
um, notice when the color will change. So mark the time with an X. I'm sorry, if there's no color change, mark the time with an X. Record the time and lab data, round to nearest whole number. So let's give one minute, okay? Let's give one more minute. Let's give one more minute. Now, we changed 436, so let's round it up to four, okay? So record the lab data. The color of um, changed at four minutes. Put four in here. And the control with no plant, it did not change color. So we'll put an X right here because the color change did not occur, okay? Now go to phase three. 